welcome back to Fierce Factor Fitness. Now I know I've been gone for a little while and I apologize. Um, I was taking my last class for my bachelor's degree and it was a killer. Um, so I just to focus, I had to focus on school for the last two months. But I am back and I've got some really great workouts for you guys today. Now um, I know some of you guys have asked for a TRX workout and then also a leg workout. So we're going to put those two together. I've got some great TRX exercises for you that uh, works on your legs and some of your glutes. Now, um, if you guys don't have a TRX, I have a link down below where you can find a TRX. Um, you just have to look around for the best prices and whatnot. All right, let's get started. All right, our first workout is going to be a lunge. Now, what you're going to do is set the TRX at about chest height. Uh, I say chest height because that's about the middle. Uh, you can definitely set a little bit lower to make it more of a challenge or set a little bit higher uh, if you want to make take it a little bit easier on your legs. That's the great thing about TRX. It is adjustable and you can change it as you go. Now, uh, when you set down for a lunge, one leg is going to be bent at about 90 degree angle and the other leg is going to of course stay on the floor and you may want to put a pillow underneath the leg that's going to go down okay so when you squat down or go down into your lunge uh, take your time make sure you pause at the bottom come up pause for a little bit and you bring your knee up about hip height all right here's how it looks Second workout is going to be a jump squat or squat jump. Uh, what you're going to do, same thing, start off with the handles about chest height and kind of lean back a little bit. Make sure your knees are above your feet when you do squat, okay? Now you're gonna squat, you're gonna squat down, pause for a second, hop up, use a TRX as kind of support while you're in the air and lower yourself uh, a little bit slower than gravity would no normally take you down. Okay, so you're actually going to use a TRX to kind of help you out. Um, you're gonna use your upper body a little bit and you're gonna use your lower body. This is great for those of you guys that have a little bit harder time with your knees uh, doing any squats or any exercises like that. Um, I do apologize in advance. This is, uh, the video is a little bit blurry just because I guess the camera couldn't keep up, but check it out, replay it a couple times if you need to, okay? Here goes. is going to be a single leg squat. Now what you're going to do, same thing, is start off with a TRX in the middle about chest height. Um, when you do this one, uh, there's actually three positions you can have your front leg, because one leg is gonna be in the front. It's kind of like that lunge, that single leg lunge, except this time your leg is in the front. Now this is going to really work your quads. The first one is going to be the easiest one. You're gonna start off with your front knee slightly bent, and then as you go down, you straighten that knee out, and you come up and you bend that knee a little bit. Uh, the second variation of this is where you keep your knee or your leg at a 45 degree angle and keep it straight. And as you go down, you kind of lift your leg up a little bit, and then when when you come up, you keep it at a 45 degree angle. Now, the third variation is my favorite. You keep your knee as best as you can in a 90 degree angle parallel to the ground. Um, you're going to really start feeling your quads burning after maybe the fifth or the sixth squat. Now, here's what it looks like. Take your time with this one. Definitely go at your own pace and at your own level. And if you have any questions about it, let me know. Here goes. sidestep squat. Now this one is really great. It works a lot of your uh, lower body and a little bit of your upper body just because we're using the TRX to help you support yourself. Now when you do this one, get the full range of motion. I like to get the full range of motion. Some people like to stop uh, to where their knees are, are in line with their hips. I like to go all the way down just because uh, flexibility wise. Um, now in the martial arts we call this a dragon stance when you go down to one leg, one leg stays straight, one leg stays bent. It's really great for those of you guys who do study martial arts because it kind of helps um, with your posture. Uh, you know, you kind of figure out where your body's at and how to keep your body straight and your, where you're at in the, in the stance. Now here's what it looks like, you're going to step to the side, one step off and then keep one leg straight and one leg bent. And then you're gonna come up, feet together, step to the other side, one leg bent, one leg straight. Check it out. Four 
exercises for you guys today. Let me know how those work out for you, how your legs feel. Remember, drink lots of water and stretch out, okay? Uh, it's really, really important that you guys do take your time to stretch out. Now, some people like to stretch out in the beginning, some people like to stretch out in the end. I like to do a little bit of stretching in the beginning and a lot of stretching in the end. Um, definitely drink lots and lots and lots of water. It's summertime right now, so it's you're going to need a lot of water. Do not get dehydrated. Now, when you do these exercises, remember, uh, use your discretion as far as your ability and where you're at uh, strength-wise, and then adjust the TRX accordingly, okay? Now, if you have any questions, leave it at the comment section. Uh, if you have any other workouts that you want me to do or any other uh, target, target areas in your body, definitely let me know. And don't forget to like this video and then subscribe, and you will definitely be seeing more of me soon. Peace. Want to see what else you can do with these things? like to eat bananas. I have bananas pretty much every day. Um, the problem is if I get a whole bunch of bananas, I can't keep them fresh long enough. You know, they kind of ripen really fast. There's a secret to it.